Hello, Nintendo Chit Chatters. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Welcome to a preview episode 6 of Fallen Legion Rise to Glory, coming to the Nintendo Switch in North America on May 29th. Shoutouts to NAS America for providing me a copy of the game. And we're heading to the Serpentine Woods again today, guys, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. So if you're looking at the map now, you're going to say you already did this level. But I didn't record it for you guys. I actually did it off camera to kind of practice because doing these preview videos, I was away for a few days, not playing the game, and I want to make sure I was pretty well practiced. So we're going to go back into this area, the next area for you guys, back into Serpentine Woods. And let's put our little party together here. So we'll put a lance up here, Zulthacar here, of course, and a pollen. There. All right, so here we go. Make sure you guys blast the like button. Don't forget, the game release is May 29th, just literally days away, so. And if you're getting the game, let me know in the comments below. Very curious. And again, big shout outs to NAS America for the early copy of the game so we can share it with you guys. All right, Blazing Fangs, Serpentine Woods. Right off the gate, we got a battle here, guys. Yeah, so when I got um, that rank, my defense was horrible. I got like a, a D. So I didn't play for a few days, so let's see if we can actually do better than that here. We got some enemies here too, I believe, too, uh, as well, so, you know, getting used to their attacks. But this is a pretty fun level. And we got to decide. Um, let's go the upgrade for Rapallin, the critical hit here. Chance plus 50 in defense goes down 25%. It's okay. Give me the chance. Ooh, we got two slices with the sword in on us. Wow. Oh! I have not defended once for this guy. We didn't block one of his attacks. Jeez. I wasn't used to his um his attacks there. We get an archer here, so look out. There we go. A little bit late. Maybe even early. Guys, out here. There we go. We need better defense. Come on, block. Choose a power up. All right. Uh, longest shift player stance. Uh, we'll do B. We stole four mana. Block that and take you out. Just like that. There we go. We got those battle chain combos higher too. Well, look at this guy. There we go. Nice. Take advantage of him now. Ooh. There we go. 
Uh, I missed him there. A little bit early or late again. All right, another power up. Ooh, a fierce combo. Hmm. Do the death blows. Do extra damage. That sounds good to me. I like these choices in between battles. It's so great. Slicing and dicing. Get rid of these archers. There we go. I'm not sure if our defense is going to be a better rank than when I first tried this level. Alright, we'll do... Um, a, we'll get the Apollon speed. We've got a boss here, guys. Look at this. By Cassandra Dragon. In the flesh. Well, metaphorically, a dragon doesn't have, strictly speaking, what you call flesh. What is it doing here? Oh, I have no idea. Unfortunately, our destination is just beyond the beast, so I'm afraid we, or rather you, have little choice. How can I hurt a creature without flesh? You can't, but your exemplars most certainly can. Do be careful, though. A paucity of flesh to call its own has given it a rather outsized appetite for yours. Oh, jeez. So watch out for his fire attacks and his claw attacks. Alright. We'll go in here. Ah. Uh. We blocked that. That was good. Block that. That was good. Didn't block that, though. Missed it there. Oh! Raise the dead here. We're missing his fire attacks. Ooh! Took him out. Wow, we died a lot there. Actually, I died more than I think when I first did this level, so... It's okay. Yeah, timing is really important here. Again, yeah, we got a D in defense there, so... Still a bit rusty, but offense was A, technique an S, and overall, again, B. Max chain was 50, so we got a cracked emerald um, gemstone again. Not bad. Again, really, um, you want to have good defense in this game. Uh, we had a raise dead a couple times, and we had like what one exemplar left. So, cool. That's pretty awesome, guys. We're actually gonna save our game. I do want to go into some of the gemstones as well here. Let's see. So we have extra stuff we can switch around. You see. So we have some Tenno stance. We're gonna switch the block in there. The cracker be uh, longest block, about 20%. Alright. So we have that already.
keep those in there, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess that's good. Alright, take a look. Some of our characters. So, Sky Splitter. Falcon Fane. So, we can choose on Longius here. Um, either Weaver and Fang, which we'll use, or Vulture Scar. So, this hurls her lance at all enemies. Grants focus for 10 seconds. An Aetheril Vulture marks the rear target. All ranged characters automatically target the sword for 10 seconds. So, we can try that, I guess. That's already. Then we, we selected it now. Very cool. Anything else there? I don't think so. So we'll save over that. Whew, all right. Yeah. So you see, defense is very, very important in this game. Learning the blocks, and you can go through the levels again, which is really cool. To try to get a better rank and kind of practice as well. Um, learning the different enemy moves. So your timing for the defense is a lot better than mine. But next episode. We're heading all the way back, it looks like, into the woods. And you see the morale is getting higher and higher there in the upper left, guys. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining this episode. Make sure you hit the like button. Comment below and subscribe if you're new. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. We'll see you guys back here next time.